Hello everyone, this is Robert again, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I'll be showing you what I carry in my Altoids Survival Tin. Now I've seen a lot of different videos on these Altoids Survival Tins with, that everyone puts in all different stuff and everything. So today, I'll be showing you mine. Now this pouch I made from this leather that I, that I acquired and I sewed it up and made it into a pretty good sized pouch. I had this webbing strap that I put, that I sewed on there as a belt loop. Then I had these webbing straps that had these clips on them. So I just clipped the top of it closed. So in case it does tip over on my belt, the Altoids tin won't fall out. Now, on my Altoids tin, I have 11 feet of paracord wrapped around it. So, there's cordage right here. Eleven feet of paracord. It's always useful in the woods. On the bottom of it, I had this one quart Ziploc freezer bag. You can use this to carry water. You can use this to carry tinder to keep it dry. You can put berries in here when you find berries in the woods. Many uses for a quart Ziploc bag. Now on the top of this, I have this foil, not just aluminum foil, but it's thicker foil, it's stronger than aluminum foil. I got this foil from the Easter ham last year. When you buy the Easter ham, you have that plastic net around the ham, which after I threw that out, and after I decided to put this with my Altoids tin, I thought I should have kept that plastic net from the ham. That's a perfect, um, that's a perfect everyday carry bag, so if you're out in the woods, you have a nice big strong bag to put acorns in or other stuff that you find in the woods. So this year, when I get an Easter ham, I'll be keeping that, I'll be keeping that plastic net. But then you have this foil around it. Now this foil is pretty, yeah, it does rip a little bit. I mean, You have to really work at it to get it to rip in some places. <laughs> but for this, this is always good. You can signal with this, the bright side, the silver side, or even the gold side. Now this is like about two feet by two and a half feet, let's say. I'll probably keep the other one Hopefully I'll cut it up better this year and keep that one and put this one probably in my haversack or something. I mean, when it's folded up and real small, the size of the Altoids tin, it doesn't take up any room in any kind of bag. So, this is the aluminum foil, the aluminum covering for your Easter ham. So, I had that. On the top of my Altoids tin, and on the bottom of my Altoids tin, I have six strips of Gorilla Tape on the top, and six strips of Gorilla, gorilla Tape on the bottom. These are good to 
close up a wound if you cut yourself in the woods. It's good to make arrow fletchings if you have to make a prim primitive arrow in the woods. Or even to um, put a cover up a hole that you ripped in your pants or something. So I have all this Gorilla Tape on the Altoids tin. Now on the inside, I have this right packed up right to the top. Now on the top lid, I have taped over here a the match striker for from a box of matches. And I have I have matches in here too. Then I have like six fishing hooks with the leader lines um, electrical taped onto the top of the cover. Now on the inside I have red thread. I'll probably you could probably like, use this to tie up on the fishing strip fit the hooks to make some kind of fly like little fly or something to try to attract the fish better. And just having a worm or something. I have my Barco Commando Wire Saw, which you've seen in my second video. The pocket chainsaw versus the Barco Wire Saw. So I have this folded up, rolled up, and this piece of plastic so it won't unravel inside my Altoids tin if I, when I open it up. I have a good deal of fishing line. I'd say this is about 20, 24 feet of fishing line. This, I have another little bit of fishing line, which this I took out of, I got out of my survival knife, the hollow handle survival knife, which I'm not going to be using that anymore, so I decided to put this little bit of extra fishing line in my Altoids tin. I had this nail, which you can use anything for, to punch a hole in leather or something, or punch a hole in a tin, like a metal tin cover, so you can make your chalk cloth. So I have this extra, this little nail in here, doesn't take up any weight, no root, doesn't take up any room. I have four of these straws with the cotton ball penetrated with the antibacterial ointment for fire starting. And this aluminum foil I have jute twine, good size amount of jute twine for, like, you can use this to, for tinder for starting your fire. I have about six safety pins. I think I have a couple of um, sewing needles in here too also. So six, about six to eight, no six to eight safety pins and probably like a couple of sewing needles in this plastic. I have Two dollars worth of quarters. So, if you're at, ever at out and you get hungry and you see a vending machine, you got some quarters. In this little bit of electrical tape, I have a few, like about three or four more small fishing hooks with the sinkers. 
like little um little fishing weights the little balls in them and this I have a half of the ferro rod from one of those magnesium sticks the ferro rod broke off so I just cut it in half and I put this with a razor blade so I can use the razor blade onto the ferro rod and create a spark with my jute twine and my fire straws so I can get a fire going. And I have a little bit more of aluminum foil. And that's it. So, there you have it. That is my Altoids survival kit that I carry with me, with me every day. Now this Easter, I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be keeping this other foil from the ham. And also that plastic net that goes over this. Because you have that plastic net, then you have the foil, then you have a plastic around the actual ham. So keeping this foil and that plastic net, that'll be a pretty good idea for keeping with you for your everyday carry. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.